Well, let's start with asking you. Who are you and what company are you with? Uh, I'm Joel Thornley and uh, Steve Lounsbury and Julie Haché. Uh, and we're presenting Friends Roll and Top Links that are two WordPress plugins that we hope are going to make a contribution to revitalizing the blog world. Do uh, you think blogs are dying off? No, no, blogs are great. But one of the social elements of blogs, along with trackbacks, is the, uh, is the blog role. And increasingly, I go to blogs, I always search for other sites that bloggers uh, link to, but I'm discovering people have just dropped their blog role because they're a real pain in the butt to maintain. And a lot of people don't maintain them. They also have another limitation that really contributed to Facebook, and that's people can link out, but who actually comes and forms the community of the blogger? So what we were trying to do was to create two, and we did it as two plugins so that people can have one or both, that allow us to take the WordPress data and turn it outside so that people can see who I link to most often, which we consider to be the real indicator of authority. If I link to someone, it's not just word, it's not just words, I'm actually following them. And with Friends Roll, we allow people to come just as you might go in Facebook and befriend someone. Well, you can come to my blog and you can actually say, hey, I, I like your stuff, I want to be part of your community. So okay. Julie's going to present top links. Excellent. And before she does, what are you looking for from the crowd oh. tonight? <laughs> we want to know whether this concept is worthwhile, uh, and we want your advice about whether or not we could improve it and make it of greater use. Uh, to people. <coughs> Excellent. All right. Eight minutes. Go. Um, so what do you want to see when you visit a blog? There's one thing that we often want to see is who does this person respect? What opinion do they value? Uh, we want to see who they link out to. So this is why we built top links. So Top Links allows you to show all of your, um, all the websites you link out to, all the blogs you link out to, and sort of displays it in a sidebar widget. What, is it, what it does is it um, actually generates a list with all the outbound links in your blog, in your all of your posts, and um, displays it in, in the sidebar widget. So um, not only can you see like the titles of all the links that you link out, you can also see how many times. So you see really what's important <coughs> to that person. Um, the way we've got it now is that you can page through all of the links. And there's quite a long list. But if you really want to have like more of a general idea of, of this person's community of thought, um, you can actually click on show all. And it'll list absolutely every single one of the links that are included. And in Joe's case, there's quite a bit. Um, OK, so what does it look like on the back end? Um, it actually allows a lot of user control <coughs> in terms of uh, what you can actually sort of customize for yourself and what you want to choose to display. Um, you can go into the Manage panel and on the Top Links uh, tab once, once you install the plugin. And you can see here that you can actually uh, rename the link name because this is often, you know, you see, for example, um, right here you have. To slide over a little bit. Oh, sorry. Um, you have redcouch.typepad. Uh, Not necessarily you're going to know that that's actually the Global Neighborhoods website. So um, it's quite easy to just go here and change the name yourself and to rename it. Um, also, you can see here that Joe is actually a pretty self-referential guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's number one on this list of people he actually links out to. Um, <laughs> We might not want to show that to everybody. So what you can also do is turn off the show me button, and that link won't be displayed in your list. Um, another option that we decided to add to it is showing custom fave icons. As we can see it now, um, on the blog, with the list, you can see the fave icons next to that. Um, in some cases, we notice that not that many people actually have customized uh, fave icon links. So you can actually have the ability <coughs> to turn them off as well. It might actually even import, uh, improve the performance of uh, your widget. So once you're done all your changes, uh, all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and click on update, and your changes are done right away. Um, so that's Top Links. It's a widget that pulls together all of your outbound links and shows them to the world. And really, what other um, method is there that's going to show like the real influence of your blog? And now off to Steve for kind of so as Julie said, uh, and as Joe said, we want to kind of reinvent the way that a traditional blog role kind of works. And uh, one of the things that, uh, I'm just going to refresh the page here. One of the things that's important in blogging is the kind of community aspect behind it. And um, 
Facebook can help you sort of maintain a list of friends, people that uh, that trust your opinion, and people who you interact with a, in a, on a common basis. And uh, we wanted to kind of bring that into a, into a blog. So what we did is we developed our, our Friends Roll plugin. And what that is is people can come to your site and they can uh, submit to be a part of your Friends Roll. They can say, oh, hey, I want to be your friend. Kind of thing. Um, and then you can go and review those requests and say, oh, yeah, I know this guy. He's my friend, whatever. So what that what that looks like is then you can get a, a list of all the, the people that uh, <coughs> that Joe interacts with or that that see Joe's opinion as something that's important to them and uh, and really get a, a good impression of, uh, of his kind of network. Um, so in order to become Joe's friend, what you do is you click on want to be my friend link and uh, you fill out all your information and, and uh, submit the, the form. Um, and Joe will actually get an email, and I won't do this because we probably out of time to go now. Uh, He'll get an email saying that he, that he has a new friends request, and he can just cho choose whether or not he wants to accept or deny you have three that. Minutes, you're okay. I got how many minutes? Three, three minutes. minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Fine. Um, so he can decide if he wants to allow that person onto his uh, his friends role. So let me see if I can just do that real quick. How many thumbs does a human have? We uh, we had a, we had some problems with uh, with the different WordPress installs doing a captcha system, so we kind of came up with this uh, sort of interesting system to ask uh, security questions. That worked. Yeah, so success. Um, so if we go back to his uh, his friends role uh, list here and click refresh, so you'll see that I'm now in there as a pending request, and you can actually. Accept or deny that request. You can go to their site and check it out. Uh, make sure that nothing's kind of looks like spam or anything like that. Uh, you can see that uh, at the bottom of the list, Joe has actually rejected a few people because he went and checked them out and saw that they're like link blogs or they're kind of spammy in nature sort of thing. Um, now the other thing that we did that Julie mentioned is that they're they're both uh, WordPress sidebar widgets and. What that does is it allows it to be a little bit more customizable for the blog owner in that they can go in and uh, kind of drag and drop things around and it's kind of a new feature in one of the the, uh, the latest kind of WordPress installs. So we thought it, that it would be good to take advantage of that kind of feature. But you can do it if you don't have a the widget system enabled on your blog too. So. All right. Excellent. All right. Uh, we got a couple questions.